Hi, I'm Douglas Ward with the Underground Boxing Company. You know, there are two existing schools of thought on the speed bag. One is that it's a useless piece of equipment. It has no applications to boxing. You don't hit an opponent like this, so it doesn't apply. It makes a lot of noise in the gym, and you can do it with your eyes closed, so it doesn't really improve eye-hand coordination. I strongly disagree. I think if you work the speed bag and work it properly, you can get some enormous benefits from it. But the key to that is working it properly. And so let me hit on three points I think that are crucial when working the bag that make it a, a valuable piece of equipment and not just a toy. The first is positioning. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. You'll notice as I'm hitting the speed bag how close the bag is to my face. This conditions per people, a fighter, to get used to something coming close to his eyes without blinking or shying away. It's your natural response to do that, but it doesn't help you in the boxing ring. So this is one place you can really work on that. If you get close enough to the bag, I mean, I got like a couple inches there, and get yourself acclimated and comfortable with something coming close to your face, you're able to keep your eyes open and be ready for incoming punches. Um, that's the first benefit. The second one is, um, I like a fighter to move. Don't just stand in front of the bag with your feet planted. Um, get up on your toes and move a little bit. It gets you used to shifting your weight and um, it helps you get, get a little bit lighter on your feet. It also just helps with mobi mobility in general. If you move around a little bit. The third thing to touch on in your speed bag routine that will help really get some value out of it is kind of a lost art. I don't see fighters doing it anymore, but if you incorporate it into your routine and work this into the movement, um, I think it escalates the intensity level. Um, it helps you gauge your punches a little bit better. It teaches you to follow through with some while pulling on others. You'll see that I, as I hit it, that I'm striking through as it's going away from me and pulling my punches as it comes to me so I don't hit the platform. But um, it's called trapping the bag. So as you can see, it requires, it requires a lot of focus, it ups the intensity of what you're doing, and really requires you to zero in and uh, time your punches correctly. So again, I, I think the speed bag has enormous benefits if you work the bag and don't let it work you. So thanks for watching, and remember, fighting solves everything.